So my big question this evening is this. Will technology and cultural knowledge be responsible for future technologies? Or will these new technologies that we build create a new definition of this same knowledge? What price type will this new knowledge have, short term and long term? And finally, how will truth be measured as new technologies create the new revolution of knowledge? The microwave and dishwasher were created with new technology to help the modern women not be a slave to domestic work. But how truthful was the marketing behind this new technology? When in actuality, these modern advances in the kitchen were just shiny appliances of disguise for women and for more work. And it was during this same momentum that the television went from this to this. And no, I'm not carrying map in my backpack. I'm carrying what you call a live view. Reference the live and the you. This new technology that was created to go from this monster ice cream truck, it limited us with 100 feet of cable to become mobile. This Dora the Explorer backpack is 10 times more powerful than your cell phone you carry around. And this backpack actually went from this little backpack to the app version, giving you even more ways to go live from your actual phone. Through all of this technological advancements, there were those who were resistant of change, of course. And just like we read Heinz's take on the robotization and healthcare system, Nurse Penelope and her robotic appeal, we too in the newsrooms have revolutionized the new technology that make it easier for one person to do the job of three. The human attention span has now dropped to just eight seconds, down from 12 seconds in the year 2000. In just two decades, our attention span went and has fallen down to one second lower of that of the notoriously ill-focused goldfish. There's no denying that attention is now a scarce commodity. For brands that want to get their message and products in front of audiences, this presents a big problem. So is this technology, this one, the one that I'm standing behind, dying? Is this box that was once created to witness live events and to bring families together is now evolving into instantly watching these same events on phones, tablets, and the ever so consuming social media platforms that we are now exposed to. Just like the newspaper, it went from print to online in order to survive. New technology, TV, is going from analog to streaming. But what is happening to the modern American family unity? The price we pay in technology advancements, somehow families are the ones paying the bigger price. During the Y2K scare, we realized that nothing happened. It was a one day event, we moved on. The economy didn't crash and our existence continued. But what does the future technology hold in store for some of us? As we are living the decline in social interaction, in images that are shaping and creating how the world sees us through a fake lens. Where does the truth lie behind our media? These advancements created in the last decade have moved us in the direction of accepting technological revolutions in our culture. As we saw in the Y2K scare, we are able and capable of adapting to changes in technological knowledge, whereas these were considered a threat to society. We recovered ourselves from an industrial revolution. However, as a result, the unity in our homes that was once so scarce to us in humanity is now being threatened a lack of emotional intelligence, just like our friend. Remember her, Nurse Penelope? 
What would you like for dinner? How was your day? Don't forget to take out your trash. Can you accept this to be the new normal?